Oh, the oven door needs cleaning. Howdy doody, my name is Susie and it is a new year and my oven is very dirty. My oven windows specifically. So we've just gone through the holiday season and we've done a lot of baking and eating and drinking and it's been great, but now my, it's time to clean the oven. And people have self-clean ovens, but it's always recommended that you clean the window first. And for me, if my oven isn't that dirty, I want to make sure that the window at the very least is clean so I can see through and see what I'm baking. So the window is just an accumulation of splattered oils and fats that cling to the window. And if you don't remove it right away, it just bakes on and it's an accumulative effect. It bakes on more and more, it becomes harder to remove. Well, this recipe is not only natural, but it's food grade. So I've used a lot of other uh, DIY recipes. I've tried a lot of commercial products and nothing works quite as well as this. And the two ingredients that we're going to be using is common white vinegar and cream of tartar. Now the white vinegar you can buy as the cleaning white vinegar, which is 10% acetic acid, or you could just use regular white vinegar, which is 5% acetic acid. Obviously the 10% is a stronger acid, so it's going to maybe work better on tougher stains. But for today's purposes, I'm gonna demonstrate with the five, and then you can see exactly how clean the window actually does become. Now, the cream of tartar cannot be substituted. Cream of tartar is actually potassium by tartrate, and it's specifically a derivative from grapes or from the winemaking process. So this is very specific, and I've tried baking soda, it does not work the same way. So make sure it's cream of tartar, and you can buy it in bulk, which makes it a little bit more economical to buy, because I know it can be expensive in the small bottles. So the recipe is really two to one, and we want two powder, cream of tartar, to one vinegar. And we're going to use two tablespoons of cream of tartar with one tablespoon of vinegar. We're gonna create a paste. We're gonna apply it to the window and just layer it smoothly, and then we're going to allow it to dry. As I said, it's two to one. And this amount is just short of maybe a quarter of a cup. And this, this really is enough to do the whole window of the oven. We're going to use two tablespoons of cream of tartar. One. Two tablespoons of cream of tartar. And then I'm gonna use one tablespoon of just the regular white vinegar. But before I add it, I wanna show you exactly what the window looks like because I wanna make the paste fresh and make sure that everything is bubbling and activated as soon as I apply it to the window so that it really is able to work effectively. So let me take it to the oven. Let me show you my dirty oven window. So this is uh, pretty grimy. It's not horrible, but you'll be able to see exactly the difference. Let me show you a close up. So as you can see, this is all grimy grease that's really stuck to the window. Grimy, right down. I think that gives you a good perspective on just how dirty and grimy it is. So now let's apply our... So now I've made my paste. I actually dropped a little bit too much vinegar in it, but let's see how it goes. And then you just want to spread it around and you can use this, uh, a little brush. And you just want to make sure that that paste is covering the entire surface of the window. You can add it to the metal part. It's not going to hurt. If you have a, little, a few extra splatters on the oven part, then you can also add some paste there. Just enough just to do the window. If you wanted to do the surrounding door, you probably have to mix up another batch. So now we're gonna let this dry for 20 bit. minutes and it's pretty dry. You can leave it 20 minutes, 30 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paper toweling 
dry paper toweling and I'm just going to start rubbing that powder and you just you have to do this dry as you're rubbing it's lifting all of the oil you can see it on can you see it on there oh as you are rubbing off the dry powder you're also lifting off all of that grime and grease and you just have to continue in small circles also the dry powder is uh, being used as an abrasive but it won't harm your window so it takes a little bit of elbow grease but as you are rubbing this dry powder you are lifting all that grease onto your little piece of paper and you would use the spatula if you had larger chunks that you wanted to push and remove but for just regular cleaning this works really well gently rub it if your little paper gets too dirty switch it out for a new clean piece of paper off now if you haven't cleaned your oven door window for a long time and you've got a lot you might have to repeat this process but it does work and don't apply any water at this point because you don't want to dilute the solution you want to be able to lift it with the dry powder let me show you a close-up of what I'm doing so here's our window and you can see how all that oil is stuck to the powder so when you come in and dry rub it really does remove the grease with the dry powder look at that shine so you can see that shine and we haven't even wiped off all the powder so this is really effective here is that side you can see the grease lines all the powder is stuck to the grease but you give it a rub look at that it removes it right away so I just keep working that dry powder and you can feel if there's any oil or any bits that are still left in the window so now I've basically gone all through the window I don't feel any bits of baked on dirt. Now I'm going to scoop this powder. Scoop as much of that powder as you can. And then now you can just come in with some warm water. So you may have to come back in and wipe it off a couple of times. And then finally, you just want to dry it off and polish it up. that is sparkling clean so it's done a beautiful job it is sparkling clean and I'm gonna give you a close-up so that you can see how well this works Chester come help mommy up it's so sparkling clean I can see myself in it so I love the way that the oven door turned out this works so great for me and it's going to be fantastic when I next use the oven and I don't have to deal with any off fumes or some off tastes in my food it's hard for me to fully convey to you how well my recipes work but if you try them and you like them and it works for you I hope you share them let me know if it does happy cleaning